Hallo YouTube und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Part von Bear With Me. So, wir haben im letzten Part ein Eis gewonnen und müssen, glaube ich, da jetzt. It'll just make a mess. It'll just make a mess. Ah, ich hätte jetzt schwören können, dass wir. I'm sure that we can find a better combination of flavors. You shouldn't play with food. I'm sure that we can. Okay, ich hätte jetzt gedacht, dass wir das da untermischen können, denn wir müssen zu dem Aufzugsmenschen gehen. Und der muss uns in das Büro reinlassen. Und mit Erdnüssen macht man ihn müde. Do I look like I practice healthy habits? I remember the night King got that hand. I have to hand it to that bastard. He's a really good card player. Aha. Gut. That living mountain is blocking the elevator. Geben wir ihm ein paar Nüsse. It'll just make a mess. I'm sure that we can find a better combination of flavors. Na gut, geben wir ihm die Banane. You shouldn't play with food. Oder auch nicht. Hello, Mr. Sir. Can we just scooch past you real quick? This is a restricted area, sir and or madam. Please return to the main floor in an orderly fashion and enjoy the variety of our games. In West Ball Casino, everyone is a winner. I'm sure you meant winner. I'm sure you're right. You will let us pass. These are not the droids I'm looking for. And, wait, that's not what I said. It wasn't? What the? You're even too stupid to hypnotize. All right, the shift's here, buddy. You have a good one. It's always us that gets the late ones, huh, doll? I know, and I'm a mess. And the coffee here is just below any reasonable standard. How do they expect us to work under these conditions? Uh... I'm having a hard time believing you two are bouncers here. How come? Well, you're just so tiny. And she's... a girl. Hey, so a girl can't be a bouncer? To be honest, it would be the first one I've ever seen. Well, if you must know, I have a golden belt in karate. That's not even a thing. Girl can't be a bouncer. I could kick your... <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Please let us pass, Mr. Bouncer, sir. Pretty please. For the love of, have some dignity. Is that a vomit stain on your shoe? It's a wait, is it? Dear God, man, you have to let us pass the president's life, man. Ted, just give up. Yeah, you're right, never mind. I'm glad I could help. I'm Special Agent Mulder, and this is Special Agent Scully. We're investigating a strange occurrence around here, with them aliens and whatnot. We need to go upstairs to check for... aliens. Sir, I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that was really stupid. I... I can't believe... You have to, Dana. The truth is out there. Echt super. Gefällt mir. Also die Sprüche waren echt super. Aber nichts davon klappt. Lassen Sie uns vorbei, wir müssen... Nee. Ähm, um, nö, 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 nö. Also, ich bin sicher, dass... It'll just make a mess. I'm not. Hm. No time. No time. Someone might... Hm. There. Now it's peeled. Ah, okay. It'll just make... Almost perfect. It just needs the final touch. Perfect. This, like right now. It's not for you. Besides, you're allergic, remember? Can I just have a little Nine. please? You can take me to the Paper City General later. Absolutely not. So. Hey guy, you look like you could use a break. You hungry? Oh, is that a banana split? Sure is. Can I can I have some? You can have all of it. Enjoy. Na, lass dir schmecken, kleines Äffchen. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. It's so delicious. It tastes like a tree. Ekelhaft. Dem kommt eine Blubberblase aus der Nase. Well, that just happened. Let's go upstairs before he wakes up. Good.
Also auf auf. Let's go and talk to King. Los geht's. Well, well, well. If it isn't the dynamic duo. King, how's the cover up? I mean, the casino business. Hi, Mr. King. I love the new lounge. It's darker and much more sinister than the last one. Courtesy of my interior decorator, Elsie DeWolf. Extremely talented woman. I'm a bit surprised to see you two here. Yeah, how come? I figured someone like you would be smart enough not to bring the girl into the city. With all the recent accidents. Accidents? <laughs> I just realized you two could have a deep, gravelly voice showdown. Like, who wore it better? Let me ask you something. How did you two enter the city? Seems to me you would need a clearance for that. Who says we didn't have it? <laughs> And who exactly signed that clearance, if you don't mind me asking? We mind. <sighs> Fair enough. You two didn't happen to come across two little bunnies on your amazing adventures, did you? And what if we have? A smart guy like you could probably guess my second question then. Last we've seen them was at her house, but they're probably long gone now. Do mugshots work for you now? In a way. And what was it that the mugshots were supposed to do for you, King? Don't you worry about that. How did you two enter my casino? We asked nicely. You always were a bit of a wise guy, Bear. Speaking of that, you say you're surprised to see us here, but I'm not really buying it. It's almost as if someone tipped you off. Have you forgotten this is my city, Bear? I know everything that's going on. And yet you don't know how we entered your casino. Besides, your city, your level of arrogance is unbelievable, speaking like that in front of her. I have as much respect and admiration for the girl as anyone. But don't tell me you haven't thought about what will happen in a few years, Bear. The girl. She can only give us so much before she grows up and forgets this place. Paper City needs a strong leader. A representative, if you will. I can take care of the city in her absence. Take care of the city in her absence? You mean the way you took care of the steel mill? What are you talking about, Bear? I had nothing to do with that. Mills is a friend of mine. You want Mills out of the picture so you can win elections next year. And you thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pin it on the Red Man. What's gonna happen when your buddy finds out you're trying to cross him? We found your matches at the crime scene together with this voodoo thing. <laughs> Girl, you honestly think I'd be stupid enough to leave all that at the crime scene? Why would I even bother to go there myself? I could just send one of my boys here. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie, King. You're a criminal, and you will never be anything more than a criminal, no matter how many fancy suits you own. You brought that red freak to our city, and... Ted, stop it! <laughs> you think I brought that monster to Paper City? You think I'm responsible for all this mess? I'm just a desperate man trying to make sense of all this. Same as you, Bear. We're nothing alike, King. Okay, stop it, you two. Mr. King, we're looking for Flint. We thought he might be here in Paper City. The Red Man knows where your brother is, girl. He told me so. I can introduce you to him. Red knows where Flint is? Don't you fall for his trick, doll. He'll say anything just to keep you here. Is this money-making fortress you've built for yourself so important that you've gone and made a deal with the devil? You've made the deal with Red? How could you do that? Look at what he's doing to Paper City. You really are a bad man, King. And a coward, it seems. Look at the mighty Reef King, trembling because of one man. <sighs> I had enough of this. Since our entertainment for tonight came down with a bad case of sore throat, the girl can take her place on the stage. 
You, on the other hand, I think you can go off in the basement for a while. You could use some time to think things through. You can't keep us here. I need to go and look for Flint. He could be in danger. <laughs> As if you have a choice. Take them away. I don't think so, King. Ted, don't do this! <laughs> Is this supposed to be a threat, Bear? Have your goons take just one step and find out. Ted, please put the gun away. We can talk this through. <sighs> Listen to the girl, Ted. She's only struck me as a smarter of you two. You and me both, buddy. But it's not her holding the gun. Let me explain what will happen next, Bear. My boys will take you down to the basement, and then they'll take the girl to the rehearsal. But don't worry. It's cozy down there. I'm sure you're used to worse dumps than that. The girl, on the other hand, She's already a star, and we can make this her swan song. One last performance before she... leaves. I'm not leaving. Why are you saying that? He's working with the Red Man, Doll. As soon as he separates us, he'll call for him to come and get you. But don't worry, I won't let this happen. King, I swear I will pull the trigger. Tell your men to stay put. Ted, please don't. I... I can't do it. I'm sorry, doll. Don't be sorry. You did the right thing, Ted. We'll figure this out. Like always. Mm. So heartwarming. You have nothing to threaten me with, Bear. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to fade to black. Alles klar. Hätte ich ihn jetzt erschießen sollen? Ich bin mir nicht sicher. Ich habe meinen ganzen Stuff verloren und da oben ist eine Pflanze von Plants vs. Zombies. Looks like a locker to me. Eine Plants vs. Zombies Pflanze. The locker is locked. Go figure. <lacht> It's a hot water boiler. It generates the heat for this whole building. Okay, was können wir... Was können wir machen? Aha. Wir haben den Schnapper geärgert. Okay, den Lappen. I'll take the dirty, dusty rag with me, just in case. So. There are a lot of boxes around Paper City, that's for sure. I bet that snake fellow would feel right at home here. Okay, jetzt haben wir auf jeden Fall einen Lappen. Yay. Aber sonst habe ich jetzt hier nichts gesehen. Hmm. No, I'm not a plumber, but that looks like some sort of excess ah. steam vent. Alles klar. Ventil plus Lappen. Let's see what happens. Get ready, Ted. This might end tragically. Okay, other Ted. Tja, you think you can Ausgang. lock up Teddy Bear? Well, think again, buddy. Gut. Ich glaube, sonst gibt's hier nichts. Nope. Okay. Hey, have you made all this mess? No. It was the other guy. What other guy? The one they've locked up in here before me. Derek. Hmm. I could check that if only they've installed some cameras in here. Isn't it a bit counterintuitive not to have cameras in here? Sure. Anyways, you have access to records, right? Can you find something for me? I could, but you're not authorized to access my logs. I'm authorized. I'm the new idiot log machine inspector. I work over at the Idiot Log Machine Inspection Company. And Sons. Wow, that was really rude. Do you just go around insulting people? Is this something you do? More or less. I mean, I guess I could just beat you up. I do that, too. I'm authorized. I'm the new supervisor. 
John Collins. Nice to meet you. What happened to Carl? He, um, you know, died. Holy microchip. Not the young age of 35. Yeah, he was trying to save this puppy from drowning. And he just exploded. The puppy? Sure, the puppy too. Anyways, I need to access some logs. Such a tragedy. His wife must be devastated. No, she's fine. She ran off with her lover. I knew she was cheating on him. It was so obvious. Yeah, and with his twin brother. Enrique? But I thought he was dead. No, he was just hiding. And he had amnesia from the crash. He was living as a farmer for some time, but then at some point a horse kicked him in the head and he remembered everything. Wow. So what will happen now? I don't know. We'll have to tune in next week. Wait, what are we talking about? Exactly. I'm authorized. I'm the new owner. King sold the joint and went into investment banking. Robbing people this way just wasn't quick enough, I guess. No, you're not. You just broke out of a locked stores room. Boiler room. And no, I didn't. It was the other guy. Derek. Yeah, or Daryl. You know, what am I? Namer of people. And where is Derek now? He, um, spontaneously combusted. Look, are you going to help me or not? What do you think? Where's the guy who works here? Bill? Well, he went upstairs to, and I quote, mingle and get wrecked. Well, that's irresponsible. My thoughts exactly. Aren't you bored? I am, as of recent. Want to play a game? Does that game include finding something for you in my logs? Um, okay. How about another game? I'm all ears. Well, microphones. How about a game of trivia? I ask you seven questions, and you have to answer. You can get seven points max. Don't know the answer? You don't get a point. It's as easy as that. Then you can ask me seven questions. All right? Yeah, sure, whatever. Shall we begin? Sure. Ladies first. In the previous room, where you recently escaped from... Allegedly. Escaped from allegedly? How many wooden crates are in that room? One. Surprisingly, yes! That is the correct answer! In a previous conversation Ted had with the beautiful and talented actress Betty, he mentioned she shot and barely missed him grazing which ear. Wait, how do you know that? Tick tock, Mr. Bear, time is ticking. Boah. Rechts, glaube ich, was, oder? Right. And I'm so sorry, but the answer we're looking for is left. She shot and grazed his left ear. All right, how many numbers are there on a wheel of the American roulette? Was weiß ich? 36. Uh, I'm sorry, but the answer we're looking for is 38. What is the name of your informant and an old drinking buddy residing at the docks caught in a never-ending battle with the harbor seagulls? Um, GCB... CB, CBG war das. CBG. Amazing! Ted scores another one! What is 1,680 divided by 12? Wirklich? Ähm. Ähm. 140. Bear against the machine. Bear scores a point! Who is our current president? Oh, I should have seen that one coming. Ähm, deine Mom. Your mom. It's like our contestant isn't even trying. We were looking for Howard. Howard is our president. Final question, Mr. Bear. Are you ready? Like a fox. If your uncle's sister is not your aunt, what relation is she to you? Was? Your mom. Ding, 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 ding! Give that bear a cigar right again! Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, Tür am Boden. Was Mayor Mills here at the casino recently? Talk about easy question. Mayor was here on several occasions just last month. He was meeting with the king in his lounge. Oh no, you got it right. You're so good at this. Ha! You're an over your head, Bear. Let's start with a warm-up one. What's that door over there on the floor? Ha! You'll have to step up your game a bit, Bear. That's a secret shaft that leads outside. A bit of a security risk now that I think about it. 
Last time Mayor was here, what were they talking about? Him and King. Does this answer your question? I can't come here anymore. Not until the elections, at least. <sighs> if everything goes according to plan, Daniel, you won't have to. And you entrusted something as important to a couple of small-time thugs? <sighs> I don't trust anyone. You should know this by now. They owe quite a debt to me, those little bunnies. They have no choice. So the girl will stay out of Paper City. I'll close the borders and the boys will stall her until... As soon as everything is set up, my men will take our friend to the exit. This thing we're doing, King, it, it's, just, it's not right. Mm, it's for the good of the city, Daniel. We're doing this for all of us. I care for the girl as well, but there is no other way. This, all of this, has to stop once and for all. God help her. And may the devil have mercy on our souls. Wait, what? Does this mean what I think it means? Exactly. I know everything, Bear. You're going to lose no matter- No, you stupid idiot. Both Mills and the King are working together with Red. They're setting us up. Mills sent us here so King can lock us up until Red comes for Amber, that two-timey backstabbing son of a hog. I have to get out of here. I have to get to her before it's too late. Tigrin, she's my best bet now. How do I open that secret door? There's a key in one of the lockers in the boiler room. You know, the one where you didn't escape from? But Bill has the key, so good luck getting that. All right, I have to go. Ted, are you going to come back? Maybe. I don't know. Why? It's just, I've... I had a lot of fun today, and usually I'm all alone in here, so I thought... Look, as soon as all of this is over, I'll come back and we can play checkers or whatever, all right? Maybe we can finish the trivia game. Yeah, sure. That would be amazing. All right, be safe out there, friend. You too, buddy. I mean, in here. Be safe in here, in what is basically a fort. You know what I mean. Just be safe. Okay. Bearception. Perception. Damit haben wir heute wieder ganz schön was dazugelernt. Aber meine Freunde, damit sind wir auch schon wieder am Ende des heutigen Parts. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet euren Spaß. Bewertet das Video, schreibt fleißig Kommentare und wie immer. Abonniert meinen Kanal. Würde mich mega mäßig freuen. Vielen Dank fürs Zugucken. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Part wieder. Bis dahin. Ciao.